Venezia, here we come. I should hit a quick save. We went through so many cutscenes and whatnot. Whoop. Can I go around the edge? Nice. Well, go from the city formerly known as Totus straight up to Venezia. Only made this path, uh, this uh, walk, like 87,000 times. I don't remember the name of this place right here, but I guess we may as well stop here and see if it's any different. Whatever this town is called, I don't recall. Remember at the start of the game when our uh, yeah. uncle like betrayed us or whatever, and then he got murdered over it? That was wild. Oh my goodness, it's a freak! Get burned! Yeah. Oh, what kind of jump kick nonsense was that? Oh my word, death. Cheese! We stole their cheese, chat! All of that for a couple of chunks of cheese. How we doing on uh, Lightning Tiger Thrust? Oh, I'm only at 47% on Sword Rain Alpha, seriously? I mean, we're at 19% at the starter stream, so good progress, I guess. I don't think we're gonna get it mastered today, but we'll probably get it next stream. Capital of Euclid. Seems they're studying human flight at this city's research, and they're flying! But is that even possible? And more importantly, can it be applied to pigs? Yeah, when pigs fly. A huge building in the northwest part of town is the Federal Research Center. Sounds great, huh? Too bad only authorized personnel are allowed in the lab. Okay. He's got an inn I can stay at. Oh, we should look at, like, weapons of the future, I guess. Holy Knight. Hello. Welcome to Holy Knight. Oh, this is what I currently have equipped. Okay. Oh, but this stuff is, like, super expensive. Mithril Mesh! This is, oh, that's what those two have on. I was told that mithril stuff can help with, like, surviving the Deos laser or whatever. Apparently, it doesn't really help, uh, mint an arch to live it. A sacred garment blessed by the supreme god. This stuff is so freaking expensive. I feel like I should just wait, and if I'm gonna buy new stuff, I should buy stuff from, uh, probably Alvanista or Midgard of the future. I imagine they'd have the best items. Plus, I mean, we've been doing fine so far. It's not like we're struggling. Here's Euclid Castle. Anyone home? Can I just walk in and, like, talk to the king or whatever? Hi. Oh, this is actually, like, a cutscene. And you are? We're the ones journeying to annihilate Deos. I believe this is the first we've met. Ah, oh, yes, the great heroes of whom King Alvanista told me. Uh, the great heroes? Yep, that's totally us. Arch, please, behave yourself before his majesty. I take no offense. We do not have much, but it would be our pleasure to provide you with some traveling funds. Your majesty, surely this is too generous. Euclid has no military. We depend upon young warriors such as yourselves. We wish to offer you our full, our full support. Yeah, I'll accept the money. Oh my goodness, 80,000 gold. Thank you, your majesty. We'll put it to good use. Yes, may you be victorious. Oh, what a good use of my time! Dang! Also, what do you mean you have, like, no military or whatever? What the heck are these guards doing here? That's military, you fool! They're on your payroll to fight stuff. That is a military. Alright, well, this seems like a nice little, uh... A nice little stop to get some money and whatnot, but let's just continue on our way. Oh, you think that Arch's dad is, like, friggin' dead? I wonder if elves are still barred from being with people. Hi. I come from the world of fabulous flavors, Sunny Boy. I must have as many Sunnies as possible experience this taste. What do you say, Sunny Jim Bob? Want to taste the flavor? Okay. I'll teach you this dish, Sunny Bunny. Gratin, sure, whatever. Was that? You say elf? Speak up, Missy. No, no, I said half elf. Whatever, I don't give a crud. So I guess you want to learn some spells? Well, today's your lucky day because I found a couple of spell books lying around. You buying them? Ice Tornado? That's only 800 gold? That sounds so cool, though.
Yeah, we're in the future, so more inflation. Yeah. Alright, got Stone Blast too. Why not? I will leave you be. Let's keep moving. Onward! I like this music. This overworld music they have now that we're in the future. That's a lot of pups. Practice my Sword Rain Alpha on these fools. Bad, not bad. Ray! Oh my word. Please. Let me just hit stuff. They're not that strong. Burn the fur off. Roast them. Bang, 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 bang. Look at all that damage. Dang, a free calm down. Oh my word. Arch and Clarth always cast, like, back-to-back. -back. It takes so long to sit through all of the cutscenes. I'm gonna stream Danny. Oh, we didn't have to go through that destroyed town. Was it, like, it just got flattened, I guess? It no longer exists 50 years in the future? No one tried to rebuild it, I suppose. Um, I'm just gonna keep using this opportunity to try and master Sword Rain Alpha. The sooner I master it, the better. I want to see what that arcane art is and if I want to use it. Yo, that was a sick pentakill. That was pretty pog, gotta admit. Has Chester, like, leveled up at all? One. He's level 12 now. Great. Made it to Venezia. What a huge port city. So many things to see, people to meet. Maybe I'll run into a tall dark. <laughs> Still a chick here. Same as 50 years in the past saying that. I'm so beautiful. Every time I see my reflection in the fountain, I'm enthralled. Whoa, a real narcissist. Appears there's a continent under a constantly dark sky somewhere in the world. Is Deus behind that too? Oh, that sounds sus. My buddies told me about a hidden village in some forest. What kind of people would live in a place like that? And probably the elves. I assume our ride is over here in the port. Do, do, do. Where's Harrison? Do I need to meet with him? Oh, he's right here. I've been waiting for you, but there has been a complication in our plans. The ships are not sailing under any circumstance. Where have I heard this one before? Sorry. Deus has been steadily increasing his influence over the sea. We'd be playing with some serious fire if we went out there right now. But as things are, there's no other choice, so... We'll have to try that place. Oh, you have another idea in mind? Do you happen to drop by Euclid along the way? It's not exactly public information, but... Oh, are we gonna, like, we're gonna fly? There's a state-operated Magic Technology Research Center there. Magic Technology, yeah. If we can't sail, then we'll soar. Whoa, whoa, soar? We're gonna fly there? I'll delve into the specifics when we arrive at the Research Center. Oh, they just took us here. Cool. Follow me. Sounds good to me, dude. We're in the future. Let's fly. They're out here making planes and stuff. There's still a dude just selling some radishes in the, the middle of the street. This is the Euclidean Federal Academy of Science. I'm an emissary from the Kingdom of Alvanista. We'd like to meet with Sir Stanley. I'm sorry, but only authorized personnel are allowed beyond this point. Well, uh... I think you'll find that my sword is very authorized to go through your gut if you don't get out of my way. It's important business, though. Won't you let us through? I'm sorry, sir, but regulation clearly states that only authorized personnel are allowed beyond this point. Then it seems I'll just have to fill out the necessary paperwork in Alvinista's name later. Can't you allow a special case just this once? I'm sorry, sir, but... Don't tell me you're unaware of the menace that Deus poses to the human race. These people may be able to do something about that, but they'll need Sir Stanley's assistance first. He's being a bit difficult. What do you think? He looks serious. I don't think we should take his claim lightly. 
Besides, he also said he'd have the paperwork filled out later anyway. Yeah, it's, I believe him. Sir, we've reached a decision. You may pass. Thank you. I, dude, that was easy as heck. These guards suck at their jobs. Who is this? He is Stanley, the lead researcher of this establishment. His primary field of study is flying machines. Flying machines? Let me explain. Take a look behind you. These are man flying machines that operate on magic power. They're called Riards. Ah, oh, it's the exact same thing they're called in Symphonia. Though they're still officially in development, we've already been making practical use of them. If it will facilitate your excursion to suppress Deos, I'll turn them over complimentarily. Complimentarily. Words. Harrison says they're necessary to reach Alvanista, however. They currently do not have sufficient power for a sustained flight over such prolonged distances. Yeah, I remember the Riards in Symphonia having that problem a lot. Aren't you the world's foremost authority on man flight? You must know of some method to raise their output. Huh, as if I wouldn't. There's a slight problem, however. Well, you might want to tell us what it is already. To put it in layman's terms, so you'll understand, Riards convert magical energy into kinetic energy for propulsion. So if we were to borrow power from Volt, the Spirit of Lightning... Oh, okay, so we are getting Volt in this game. We could further boost the Riards' output. However, this will require a summoner, and, even I, and not even I know of any around here. Well, what are the odds? There's one right under your nose. Me. Ah. Hey, do you think that power could make my broom... Broom, broom, be all zoom, zoom like that too? Can we kill Arch? Can we, like, drown her? Magic brooms are not my forte. However, my intuition tells me that one infused with Volt's magic power would have improved vi uh, vite flight capabilities. What the heck? This stuff doesn't make any sense. Well, let's hurry then. I do not remember saying I was finished. A ring is necessary to make a pact with the spirit, is it not? Here, take this one and go. Why are you in possession of a packed ring? I found it while I was part of Alvanista's Maria Mine survey team and held onto it for my research. I hate that place. Hate that place. I don't suppose you will have to listen to more of your lecture in exchange, yeah? Uh, I don't have any sentimental attachment to it. It's outlived its purpose and is just scrap jewelry as far as I'm concerned. Sardonyx. Okay. So who is the diamond pack ring for? If Volt is in the game, I bet Celsius and Shadow are too. This is just hearsay, but Volt supposedly exists in a cave southwest of Miguel. Unidentified equipment has been discovered lying around there, which may originate from an ancient civilization. We'll be sure to investigate it. Let's go. Okay, that was southwest of Totus. It's said that the Spirit of Lightning Volt is in the cave southwest of Miguel, which is Totus. Okay, so southwest. Please get there as fast as you can. We don't have much time. Have you found Volt the Spirit of Lightning yet? All right, well, we got to go get a pact with Volt. It's like the start of the game when we had to get the four great spirits. Let me out! Lock in the doorway, chick. Southwest, so we're going way down here. Southwest is where the mausoleum where we fought Deos was, is it not? I wonder if, uh... If Morrison's mansion is still down there in this time period. So many birds. Not a good setup for me trying to uh, master whatchamacallit. Trying to master uh, Sword Rain Alpha. Well, that one's dead. You guys got that one over there, right? See you. Hate fighting these dang birds. Also, my lock-on keeps flipping back and forth for some reason. I hate it. All right, those two are dead at least. Overkill. Should have cast that a little earlier. Not bad, not bad. Whoop. I'm gonna throw it out there, chat. Today's stream has been going way better. Oh, is it that cave right there? No, that's southeast. Southwest is that way. It's gotta be on the other side of this mountain. I don't remember what that cave over there is for. Is that a cave we went to in the past? I don't recall. Hello. 
both die. Undine! Yo, a Firestorm or a God's Breath would be great here. Indignation also works. That is sufficient. Giga dead. Chicken and cheese. Ew. That sounds awful. Mostly because I don't like cheese. Volt's cave down here. Oh, this is uh, Morrison's place. There's a cave right behind it. That didn't used to be there, I don't think. Or is this Morrison's place or is it something different? No, this is Morrison's place. Is he like here as an old man? Old man Morrison? Hello? Did you continue your bloodline? Hi! Hello, I'm a peddler. Would you like to see my wares? Not really. You have an apple on your head. My great-grandpa was an amazing cleric, and his grandpa's grandpa was a hero who defeated the demon lord. I'm not making this up. Okay, so you're... Okay, so the Morrison line did continue. Hello, I'm in charge of the housekeeping. I really enjoy working here. The fresh air, the clean water, and the plants everywhere. I never want to leave. What on earth is this freak? Do you see this guy's sprite? What is this? My name is Curio. I'm an artist whose inspiration comes from the beautiful curves of a woman's body. Hey, you have a naughty magazine. Curves, curves, curves. Oh, you gotta let me have it. There you go, dude. This is absolutely inspirational. Please take this in exchange. Curio's mirror. Like, what? Who... Who came up with this in the design team? I just want to talk. Artist Curio's peerless labor of love adds something to the customized menu? Add something to the customize menu. Window color, maybe? Was this here before? No, I, I think I remember that existing before. Battle rank, normal and hard? Did it add a hard difficulty? I'm not playing this crap on hard. No, thank you. Combo counter, target check, enemy check. Menu character display, sprite, portrait, SD portrait? Oh, okay, that must be what it did. Oh, that's cool. That's, that's a neat little thing. Whoops, I keep hitting the wrong button. I hate that, though. That's, that is truly cursed. Truly awful. I think I'd rather just keep Sprite. That's a neat thing, though, I guess. How do I get down to that door right there? Oh, you can go under. Nothing else here? Oh, you look like, uh, Morrison. Huh? Who are you people? I'm very busy having the time for you right now. Say, is your name Mr. Morrison? Why, yes, Harold D. Morrison to be exact, but... Wait, are you... Are you Mr. Cress Alvain, of whom my grandfather spoke? Yes, that would be me. I see. So you've taken the time to come and visit me. Naturally, I would like to provide my assistance, but I lack the power to fight Deos. It goes without saying, but my grandfather was Trinicus D. Morrison, and his ancestor was Edward. The two of them commanded incredible powers. However, I was not fortunate enough to inherit them. Your sentiments are more than enough. Speaking of your grandfather, did he ever tell you stories about what we ended up doing? Are you certain this is something you wish to hear about? Nah, I don't think so. Hey, wait a minute. You totally gotta be kidding. This is something we need to hear. I sure as heck don't need to. Just shut up already. Easy now. Let's not embarrass ourselves in front of Mr. Morrison with a childish fight. But I agree with you, Chester. It's probably for the best that we just drop the subject. Huh? What's with you guys? I don't get it. I think it'd be nice to know. There are many things in this world that people are better off not knowing. This is one of those. Oh, really? Forgive me for asking that silly question, Harold. It never happened. Let's just leave it at that. As you wish, no harm done. Well, it's not like it's big news anymore, so what's so bad in hearing about it? Yeah, but if you heard it and changed something along the way, wouldn't that screw things up anyway? Dude, by the laws of time travel, all of you shouldn't even exist right now. Like, we should have hit at least three different paradoxes. I don't think this game cares at all <laughs> about paradoxes and whatnot. I do believe that people should create their own destiny by themselves. In fact, there is an old adage told by fortune tellers. A person's fate is already 99% decided when they are born, but the remaining 1% can be changed through hard work and effort. To tell you all the truth, my grandfather did not tell me even one word of your exploits. He could have kept it a secret for any number of reasons, but I believe it was because he didn't wish to take away that 1% of free will. Yeah, it makes sense. Well, we only get 1%, man, what a drag. I don't think that's how it works. You have to be earnest and work hard for the things that are precious to you. Precisely. If you find out you have some wonderful future, you might end up thinking it's inevitable. 
so you end up getting lazy in life and become depressed when that future you thought you had never materializes? I guess I see your point. Aha, oh sure, I bet that went in one year and out right out the other. Did not. Would you stop take talking such crap? I do believe I asked you two to stop the juvenile bickering. Anyway, I'm afraid there isn't really much else I can offer you. But please feel free to make yourselves at home. Alright, later. That was a neat little... Little stop. To get to chat there. Oh, the dog. Bark. Alright, how do I get to the cave right behind the... The thing? Can I just walk by? Oh, nice. This definitely wasn't here 50 years ago. Wind is nothingness, earth is creation, water is destruction, fire is power. Okay. Whatever you say, dude. 